the universe was working against you. All right, now let's get a little more specific. How many of you have been in a situation where you were outside of your comfort zone as a child? All right, now finally, how many of you have been in a situation where you were traveling and your flight got canceled six different times? You had to be rerouted twice. You ended up in a country that you have never been in before, and a journey that was supposed to take you 19 hours turned into 819 hours. Just me? Okay. Even if you cannot relate to my situation exactly, I am sure that each and every one of you can remember a time where you felt like everything was going downhill. When you're in a situation and things are just not going according to plan, you can feel like you don't have control over anything. However, I'm going to tell you that that is not true. No matter how bad things may seem, or how helpless you may feel, one thing that we will always have control over is our outlook. Positivity is a powerful tool that everyone must utilize in their toughest times. Positivity can help you make the best of a seemingly bad situation, and it can help you change your outlook completely. And in the famous words of Winston Churchill, attitude is a little thing that can make a big difference. Now, some of you may be wondering what that whole thing about my terrible travel experience was. Well, since I was little, I have always been very comfortable and I actually really enjoy traveling. However, in this particular instance, I was already outside of my comfort zone because this was the first time that I was traveling without my parents. Instead, I was traveling with my uncle and my cousin. Even though they are still my family, a 10-year-old me was slightly nervous about my mom. On top of already being nervous, and outside of my comfort zone, things just kept going downhill from there. So, when we first arrived to the airport, my family and I enthusiastically awaited our flight to India. It had been a year since we last visited, and I was missing everyone a lot. However, when we first approached, approached the counter, the staff gave us some bad news. Our flight had been canceled. The dreaded phrase that every traveler hates hearing. Thankfully, the airlines offered us another flight for the next day. So even though we felt a little defeated, we were still hopeful because we were able to get a flight for the following day. Then, as we were on our way home, we received a notification saying that our ticket for the next day had also been canceled. We then went back to the airport, hoping to resolve the situation. When we approached the counter, they offered us another ticket for an even later flight. Now we felt even more discouraged. Then on our way back to the car, we received a notification saying that our flight had been canceled again. Now our defeated feelings just turned into pure frustration. Now we are feeling a little more hopeful, because even though we were leaving for India a little later than anticipated, at least we were on a flight. Our journey still wasn't easy, however, because our flight from Pittsburgh to Chicago got delayed. This meant that we only had a 10-minute layover in the Chicago International Airport. In those 10 minutes, we would have to run from one end of the airport to the other and hopefully reach our gate in time. For those of you who don't know, Chicago International Airport is huge. So this was almost impossible. We felt like our luck just kept getting worse and worse. Now, some of you may be able to tell that I am a huge talker. Even since I was a little kid, I have never been able to keep my mouth shut. Because of this, I was telling everyone and their mom about the horrible travel experience that me and my family were currently going through. While waiting at the gate in Pittsburgh, I was telling all of my fellow passengers about the multiple different ticket cancellations and how the 10-minute layover in Chicago would probably make us miss our next flight. I'm assuming that they liked me, or at least they found me entertaining, because I kept making jokes and I was able to make a lot of people laugh. Then, after I was done yapping, two hours went by, and the flight finally started to board. Me and my family anxiously waited throughout the entire flight, hoping that by some chance we would be able to make the next one. Then, as the flight started to land, we were ready to jump out of our seats, but we heard an announcement. On the speaker system, we heard the flight attendant go, Excuse me, everyone. I know that you're probably all eager to get off the flight. However, we kindly ask that you remain seated as there is a family with a very short connection. If everyone could please let them go first so we can give them a fighting chance, that would be great. It took me a couple of seconds to register that that announcement was about me and my family. Apparently, my yapping had been so effective that even the flight attendants had heard about our situation. While I was still sitting in shock, my uncle sprung to action, grabbed us, and we started 
started running. As we were making our way down the aisle, all of the passengers started clapping for us and wishing us good luck. It was such a cool moment, and I still get happy thinking about it to this day. Even in a tough situation, if you are somehow able to keep a positive mindset, positivity will come straight back to you. Because I was able to stay optimistic, and I was able to go talk to my other fellow passengers and make jokes and tell them about my situation, I was able to receive some help from extremely kind-hearted people. If you are able to stay optimistic, you will receive the benefits I promise. And as a famous Olympic gymnast, Mary Lou Retton once said, optimism is a happiness magnet. If you are able to stay positive, good things and good people will be drawn to you. Now, after we got off the flight, me and my family felt a new sense of hope that we would be able to catch the next one. Now, me being the absolute track star that I was at 10 years old, I gave my uncle my backpack and I booked it to the flight. I am telling you guys, I have never run so fast before in my entire life. I took off my crop and I ran barefoot through the entire airport, hoping that I would make it to the gate in time, praying that they would still let us on. While I was running at the speed of light, I happened to run into two pilots. They stopped me and they asked me where I was going and why I was running so fast. I told them that I had to make it to my gate and that I had to let the people know that me and my family were here so they would still let us on the flight. The pilots then asked me which flight. I told them that it was a Chicago to London flight. The pilots started laughing. They looked at each other and then they looked at me. I'm telling you guys this actually happened like I'm not making this up. The pilots looked at me and said that the flight wasn't going anywhere without them, because they were the pilots. Apparently, the flight had been delayed. Don't you think that would have been great to know two seconds ago before I literally gave myself shin splints? So many different emotions were going through my head. I was slightly angry, mostly exhausted, but overall, I felt this rush of happiness. I was so relieved that we were finally able to make it to our flight, and when I look back at everything that had happened, it didn't seem like such a big deal anymore. Thankfully, the rest of our flight was pretty smooth from there. Then, when we finally reached India, five days later than we initially anticipated, the only thing that I felt was happiness. I didn't care about how long the trip took. I didn't care about how angry I felt in the situation. All I cared was that I was finally at our destination, and all I felt was happiness. Even now, I only remember the story fondly because of the amazing people that I met along the way, because of the incredibly hilarious stories that I'm able to tell, and because of the bonding that I went through with my family. Now, there's just one more thing that I would like to point out. Positivity will never immediately fix your situation. Having a positive mindset didn't get me and my family to India any faster. However, it did make the 